Paano sumulat ng scope and limitation of the study? Step number one, write the boundaries of your research. First, state mo yung mga boundaries ng research mo. Specify the population, sample size, geographic application, time frame, at iba pang mga relevant parameters that could affect your study. Example, the focus of this study is on kids in urban regions in the American city of New York who are 6 to 12 years old. This study excludes children with impairments or long-term health concerns in order to focus on the association between sleep duration and food practices among youngsters. Step number two, mention the potential shortcomings of your research. Pwede itong mga limitation with regards to your research design, the sample size, data collection and analysis, resources or generalizability. Example, the limited sample size of this study is one of its limitations, which could restrict the generalizability of the results to other populations. This study relied on self-reported measures of physical activity and food habits due to time restrictions, which might introduce measurement bias. Step number three, explain the possible effect of the scope and the limitation. Explain the possible effects of this limitation to the validity or reliability of your results, as well as the generalizability of your findings to other contexts or other populations. Step number four, connect the scope and limitation to your research questions and to the objectives of your study. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to comment below your questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video mga ka-wise researchers.